Hi there. My name is Greg Persinger, and I'm the owner of Vivid Illumination. Over the years, I've worked with hundreds of different churches, and I've picked up lots of tips and techniques along the way. I'd like to share some of those techniques with you in these church tech talks. Hey, today we're going to talk about data splitters. So while DMX cable is kind of the veins, the data splitter is, can be viewed as the heart of your lighting rig. So what does the data splitter do? Well, the data splitter takes the uh, data from the console, brings it in, and splits it multiple directions. Uh, DMX doesn't allow you to split data with like a Y cable like you might do in audio. It has to be electronically split. Um, so that's why we use a data splitter. Um, data splitters come in a lot of different factors. It could be you know, one in, two, two outs, four outs, six outs, you know, a lot of different flavors. One of the other things about data splitters is that some of them are optically isolated splitters, whereas others are not. So what is this and, and what does it mean to you? Well, an optically isolated opto splitter, um, it electrically isolates the input coming from the console from the multiple outputs going out of the device. Now, why is this important? Well, what it does is it protects your rig from uh, things like lightning strikes, uh, somebody accidentally plugging a DMX cable into a Clearcom power supply, um, a fixture that goes bad and puts voltage on the line. What it does is it basically that one line um, that has the problem is isolated from the other lines uh, that don't have problems. So the other benefit of an optically isolated splitter beyond protecting your gear from spurious voltages is that if there is a problem, instead of the whole rig going down, only one line, one output of the rig goes down. Uh, some of the other advantages though are just ease of use. I mean, sometimes you have a cable going to a front of house truss and an upstage truss and you want a cable on the floor. Well, instead of having to go from your console up to your first truss, fixture to fixture to fixture to fixture, down to the floor, across, up to another truss, now what you can do is you can run the line to an opto splitter, split it out multiple different ways and have one cable going to um, every truss, one cable going to the floor, that sort of thing, making your installation clean, neat, and easy. So what are some of the other advantages of using an opto splitter? Well, as we talked about uh, in another video, DMX limits you to 32 devices per line. Well, if you're using more than 32 lights uh, in your rig, you hit the limitation on one line. Well, what do you do? Well, you use an opto splitter. So now that opto splitter, every output on it gives you the ability to uh, run another 32 fixtures. Um, up until you hit the limitation of your DMX addressing. So you can do fixture after fixture, and what happens if you run out of ports on your opto splitter? Well, then you can cascade opto splitters using the through port on one opto splitter to run into the input of the next opto splitter, and you can split it off um, into another uh, group of fixtures. So you can do that until you run out of, of uh, DMX channels. Uh, one other thing to remember though is whenever you do this, every output from your opto splitter should have a terminator at the end of the line. And also that through port on your um, opto splitter, if you're not using it, it should have a terminator on it as well. That way uh, you don't get any reflections down your DMX cables. So there you go, an overview on opto splitters, uh, which are really the heart of your lighting system. And as you go along and you're, you're setting up your rig, you're building your lighting system, don't forget them. You really need to spend uh, the money, make the investment in a good opto splitter because it'll pay you back in the long run by keeping your rig running efficiently and happy. Thanks a lot. Until next time, have a good day.